Hi everybody, welcome to the very end of 2019. I want to do a video where I do a quick roundup of all the cereals that I've had this year, but I haven't got to make a video um, for them specifically, just because I got busy or I wasn't too interested or they were really terrible or just things that, again, I maybe made a post about on Instagram, but as far as videos go, um, definitely did not happen. So I want to go over those with you right now to catch you up with how I'm feeling about the cereals in 2019. And um, that will lead us into something I'm very excited about, but we'll get to that in the next episode. But today we're starting with these cereals. So uh, let's get started. Welcome to Cereal Snob. Mmm, give me some of that. Okay, so we're going to start with the Mega Stuff Oreo O's. This came out this year and all they did was take the regular Oreos we know and love and add marshmallows to them to imitate the extreme cream Oreo O's of the 1990s. And I am not one who thinks adding marshmallows to a cereal necessarily makes it better. So initially I was like, oh, not really important. Don't need to make a video about it. But um, I'm really happy to say that this cereal I think actually is better with marshmallows. Now it's like it's more sugar, sure. But it also just makes it more of a fun experience. Chocolate plus marshmallows is always a win. And Oreo O's are so good with that really unique creamy and chocolate flavor. And when you throw the marshmallows in there, it adds a new texture. And you know what? I like it a lot. If you haven't tried it, you got to, especially if you like Oreo O's. Next. Okay, I hate a lot on Crave. And to be fair, it's because I've tried Crave. I really don't like it. So when I heard <laughs> these announcements of the Cinnamon Crunch and the Strawberry Crunch Crave, I was like, you know what? These are different flavors. Uh, and I think I could really, really like them, except um, I don't. They suck. They're so bad. For like this one reason in particular, um, let me show you because it's best if I show you. Okay, so these are the pieces of the new Crave cereal. They look identical, although um, they are not. This one is a strawberry one and this is the cinnamon. Now, the flavor on these is actually pretty good. What I think is interesting is on the inside of these, they both have a little chocolate strip. Um, chocolate is weird. I didn't know it needed to be chocolate like you would think. The cinnamon crave would have something like frosting, the strawberry, like strawberry and chocolate I get. But I think crave, the idea is like inside every crave piece is chocolate. But what's wrong with this is like, look, you can touch these pieces and they are the softest pieces of all time in cereal. I mean, I barely press them and they just crumble. Um, so like as soon as you pour the milk in this bowl, they already feel soggy. The second milk's even on it and they like, they feel that way even without milk. Like you can put it in your mouth and just... Your tongue crushes it. My, you can't you can do that with a Cap'n Crunch piece. You can't do it with a lot of cereal pieces, but you can with these. And because of that, the texture experience being so bad, I don't care how good the flavor is, when it's really only just okay anyway, but it's not a cereal worth writing home about or doing a whole video about. So um, you can skip the Crave. They suck. I'm not a fan of Crave. Mm. So since I started doing this channel, um, it's been really interesting to see how responsive the cereal companies are to like criticisms of people who are outspoken like me. Serial Time, Seriously.net, but also uh, so many other places. And uh, General Mills, because they're so responsive, I guess decided that because so many of us are talking about how much we hate Crave in general, and just like Crave not being something I ever, ever want to have, they decided to release their own version of Crave, um, but except they called it Fillows. Fillows is what you get if you took the word pillows and just put an F in front of it. I know that seems crazy, but that's exactly what it is. And they have these cream filled cereals. This one is Hershey's Cookies and Cream. This one is the Cinnamon Roll by Pillsbury. They're both licensed, which makes me think they should be good. Um, but I'm actually starting to find that I think licensed cereals, more often than not, aren't ever really winners. And these are no exception. Um, do, well, first off, I, I need to say I absolutely, absolutely hate this one in particular. Um, now, that's because I'm not a huge fan of frosting on cake. In general, like, cheap frosting is not good. Good frosting is great, but cheap frosting, you know, the stuff you buy at the store for like a buck and you can just eat the whole tub, not my thing. And this feels like an excuse to eat frosting exclusively. Like, the cereal, while the flavor of chocolate initially can be kind of good, you really all of a sudden realize it's not that great, first off, and then second, it's way overpowered by uh, the frosting itself. Like, it feels like the more you eat this, the more you're just having frosting with like little crunchy bits thrown in and it is disgusting. I'm not a fan whatsoever. If you didn't see this or catch this this year, um, you're not missing out unless you really like frosting. Um, so don't worry about it and, and maybe it'll come back around, but I guess, I'm guessing it won't. So then there is the cinnamon version of the same thing, the cinnamon rolls, while it is much better and it makes more sense as far as the cream filling goes, um, I still just don't like it. It feels like when you're eating it, 
you're just getting way too much of that. Not even like sugar overload, like your stomach isn't upset, just it doesn't feel good to eat it. And um, if it doesn't feel good to eat, why would I have it in my kitchen, you know? So, Philos absolutely sucks, don't like it. All right, next we have the drumstick cereal, which looks really good. It came out sometime in the summer and is a cereal that I was really excited to get my hands on, particularly because I love Post S'mores. Uh, it just, Post did a really good job with that cereal. It's simple, it's just a mix of three things you probably already had before, um, but General Mills doing it, I was like, heck yeah, sign me up. But guess what? Um, not that good. And I think the reason why it's not that good is because it really just has no distinct flavor that really sticks out. Like there's a lot of cereals there and you would hope they either combine to make a better flavor or, or you have the individual notes kind of hitting you one by one. So you're like, oh wow, there's so many great flavors in my mouth at once. But guess what? It just isn't that way, particularly with the mint chocolate. Um, I think they just took the same exact pieces they made for the Girl Scouts Thin Mints, where weren't, which weren't very minty in the first place. Turned them green, threw them in this cereal. They're the same shape. Guess what? You have no mint flavor whatsoever. So that's really disappointing here. Um, then you come to the vanilla flavor, which honestly is better. But by the time you get here, you're just like, you know what? I'd rather have just the s'more cereal because uh, it's, it's just, it's better in every way, for sure. There are no marshmallows here. And I think that's part of the reason why the s'more cereal is so good. It's like that extra little bit of sugar that kind of powers up the other flavors. This one doesn't have that. It just has another piece, which is um, lame. I don't anticipate these being around very long or actually, I know they're not around even right now. So they're probably not gonna come out next year either, but they might be a summer exclusive. But what I'm trying to say, is if you don't get your hands on them, you're really not missing out. Uh, then there's Cheerios Oat Crunch, which thank God came out because this is one of those cereals that you're like, well, I'll try it. And um, you eat it and you're like, holy crap, this is like way better than I thought. And you keep eating it and you're like, actually, this is fantastic. Cheerios Oat Crunch is one of my favorite cereals of all time. Um, Cheerios Oat Crunch Cinnamon. So the, the oats and honey version, I was like really, really excited about. And while I don't like this flavor as much as the cinnamon one, um, I don't think it's worse in any way. I'm just not that big of a fan. This is really, really good. I also gave this a five out of five because it's worth that. It's good. It fills you up. It's multi-grain Cheerios. You can see there's the oats top uh, right on top of them. So it's very filling in a way that is satisfying. Uh, someone mentioned there are 15 grams of sugar per serving in here, which I didn't know. Um, and you probably wouldn't know. I mean, it's sweet, but you don't feel bad eating it. Like that's 15 grams. That's six more grams of sugar than Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which... Seems like a lot, but guess what? Feels good to eat it, and that's all I really care about. <sighs> okay, this next cereal I'm covering uh, because I was really excited about it, and it's really important I tell you about it now because it is the worst cereal of 2019 for me, by far and away. Just so, so bad. It's the chocolate peanut butter corn pops. I used to love corn pops. They were one of my things. I was like, mm, man, gotta have my pops. I literally said that as I ate it. This one, I was like, oh, chocolate and peanut butter on top of that? Sign me up, sounds good. Problem with this is it says chocolate, very small, probably because there's literally like no chocolate flavor whatsoever. You do get peanut butter and peanut butter usually stands alone um, on itself to be pretty great. But this one has the misfortune, the great misfortune to be on top of like the worst cereal piece of all time. When you eat it, it's just the worst texture I've had in cereal all year long. It's not Reese's Puffs. It's not uh, PB Chex. It's not PB Crunch. It is just a terrible version of Corn Pops. Um, in a nice orange box, but it's not good whatsoever. I gave it a zero out of five, and it probably deserves even less than that if I could give it less than that, but zero is where we end the scores here. Um, terrible, awful, don't buy it. Uh, it won't be around next year, I guarantee it. Now, if you're a fan of Lucky Charms, the Cinnamon Vanilla Lucky Charms came out, I think, two years ago, or at least one year ago for the first time. Either way, I was super hyped about this, particularly because I love the Scooby-Doo uh, cereal so much. Like, that stuff is so good. It's cinnamon, it's crunchy, it's got marshmallows. It's like five out of five for me, for sure, as a kid. And I was like, oh, Cinnamon Lucky Charms is gonna be that, right? It's gonna replace it, it's gonna be great. But uh, when you eat the cereal, you're actually probably gonna be very surprised how much it feels like you're just eating Lucky Charms. There's no hint of vanilla whatsoever. And the cinnamon, while it's there, is so muted that you're just like, wait a minute, could they just like throw in a little more cinnamon, pretty please? Um, but they don't. And that's okay, because I guess if you just want a festive Christmas cereal that is uh, also Lucky Charms, this is a winner. It's just, it doesn't really feel um, special. 
and I think limited edition seasonal things should feel special. Now, with the Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch, this has been out a few times. I've said this time and time again. I think this is my favorite holiday cereal. It's the exact same texture as Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the same pieces, like the whole experience is the same, except no cinnamon. You get a little bit of a sugar cookie flavor, which is nice, and it's a welcome change. Um, I think it's a win overall. So if you haven't tried this, get it while it's there. It's probably not gonna be around much longer. But the good news is, is I think General Mills gets the idea. We all like this and every year it's been here for at least a couple years now. So I anticipate 2020, we'll see this stuff again. Okay. <clears throat> so um, one of the last cereals I wanna talk about is peanut butter checks, but I don't have a box of peanut butter checks because literally I just ate them all. Um, I've got through like seven or eight boxes of PB checks this year and um, it's my favorite peanut butter cereal of all time. Like, I really, really love peanut butter crunch. And it's been one of those things where I was like, you know what, uh, PB crunch is my number one peanut butter cereal of all time. Uh, I didn't think anything could replace it, but I'm always excited to see if something does. Um, and peanut butter checks absolutely beat PB crunch as my number one cereal, um, pe peanut butter cereal of all time. And that, that says a lot for someone who literally would go to the store as a kid and buy PB Crunch and hide it in his closet so no one else's family could eat it. Like it was my secret stash. PB Checks is that for me now in 2019. If you haven't tried it, you have to. The best PB cereal out there by far and away. This is going to get its own video, but I had to talk about it now because that's what we're here for. This goes with the Checks boxes. Um, this is just a box of all the unique cereal boxes from, um, I guess, like the past three years. Um, I don't keep duplicates, but I do keep anything that's unique. So with all that being said, uh, obviously that was a lot of cereals I went over. I just really wanted you to get up to speed with me. Oh, hold on. Before we get there, I, there's one last thing we have to talk about. The Rice Krispie Treats cereal, um, which was to replace the other Rice Krispie Treats formula. Not a fan of this whatsoever. In fact, no one is. I obviously made that petition, which has over 4,000 signatures or... Something like that, I haven't checked on it in a while. But um, a lot of people don't like it. And the video I made about that is gonna consistently get views for quite some time until they change it back, or they'll probably never change it back. And that's why General Mills is gonna release the Lucky Charms Rice Crispy Clusters, what, whatever that is. Um, probably sometime in 2020, I would imagine we'll see it actually in the next three months for sure. So, um, but this cereal is a mistake, right? Like it's just rice, frosted Rice Krispies with marshmallows. Very, very low effort, um, not quality. And I think everyone else would really appreciate just having the regular Rice Krispies treat cereal back again. But um, we can't always have what we wish for and complaining about it while it might feel nice doesn't really do much. So I'm just gonna drop it right there. But that's 2019 in a nutshell. You got caught up with all the cereals I've had, what I think about the ones I haven't got to do a specific video about. And that is going to lead us into the 2019 Cereal Snob Awards. This is the first time I plan on doing an awards show, and I want to get that done um, really in like the next two weeks. But I also want to have you guys vote on that specific cereal or on your favorite cereals of 2019. I have like 10 different categories. I want you to vote to have your own um, opinion be heard, and we'll do my awards versus your awards and um, see how that goes. So thanks for everything. Happy 2019. This is the last day. If there's anything you want to do and haven't done it, go do it. This is, a last, this is your last chance to do it in 2019. Um, my daughter's playing Pokemon Shield in the bedroom. She's at the championships, and she doesn't realize how bad that game is because she just didn't realize how good they used to be. Like with Pokemon um, Ruby Sapphire, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Gold Heart, uh, you know, the old ones. They're great. But this one, I think it's the worst Pokemon of all time. Um, that's neither here nor there, because this is a serial review channel, and uh, I can get more into games, but not this episode. It's already running too long. So, enjoy your day. Um, I'll be talking more about all these serials and these ones up here, too, um, in the next month um, or less. So, stay tuned, okay? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Again, Happy New Year. Be safe. Have a good time. Celebrate everything you've accomplished this year, and just, you survive. 2020 is here, and it's going to be great, okay? Okay. See you guys.